Hi, I'm Heather from Hia Booktubes, and today is February anticipated releases. This is a bit of a weird month releases wise for what I'm aware of. Uh, not as many of my favorite indie authors have releases or at least have concrete releases in February. But if you follow me on Instagram, which is Hia Booktubes, same as here, um, I do share to my stories anytime an author posts about a release that I'm interested in. So that's a good way to know what I know. <laughs> so let's go in chronological order. The first releases I have are on the 6th and that is When Grumpy Met Sunshine by Charlotte Stain. I have followed this author on Twitter for years and I am really excited to read this one. I do have an arc from NetGalley. Um, it does not have the best rating. <laughs> already but it's a retired footballer or soccer player I believe they're based in England and his ghostwriter he's very grumpy she's very sunshine I love this cover and they end up fake dating for press I really really want to like it <laughs> and I'm gonna be bummed if I don't also on the sixth the bride by Allie Hazelwood is out this is her vampire princess forced alliance marriage to the shifter king probably I would assume. Uh, I've heard that it has quite a bit of political and paranormal world building in this one and it's very slow burn but it is one that I am interested in. Reviews honestly might talk me in or out of it but I do have it set as a hold at the library. I will probably have to wait several weeks to read it but I do plan on reading it. Then on the 13th we have Megan which is Loose Ends number three by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is the conclusion I believe to the series with Rafe and Zenny. I read Zenny last year and loved it. This is another one of the friends and she's a submissive and this has quite a bit of BDSM. I believe that the hero is new to BDSM. I'm excited about it. Again I will probably wait on the library. Then also on the 13th, Neferura by Malene, Malena Evans is coming out. This is the Egyptian historical fantasy that is supposed to follow the daughter of, I believe, Nefertiti. I also have this as an arc in that galley. You know how much I love Egyptian mythology and history, ancient Egypt, and you know, I, that, I was that kid. <laughs> um, I had a book of hieroglyphics one time and tried to like learn how to read and write in hieroglyphics as the homeschool child that I was yet. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is everything I want. I'm also hoping that there's some romance in it. I don't know that there is. Then on the 20th, Space for More by Emily Antoinette is out. I saw Not Safe for Work art of this on Instagram. and was like, I'm interested. <laughs> It doesn't take much. Uh, yes, I'm intrigued. You got me. I want to know more. This is a polyamorous romance. She is a doctor and she's trying to stop a data dealer. I don't know what that is, but she partners with his estranged mate to accomplish it. Um, does that premise make me a little bit questionable? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it really, really does. But... <laughs> It's FFM Alien Romance, so yeah. <laughs> then on the 25th, How to Fake It with a Fae by Amy Boyles is out. This is set, the first in Seven Sailors for Seven Witches series. This is a broody fae king is bent on revenge. So I completely messed this up in my notes. I went from the synopsis to the next one. So she has to get married or her family will lose their magic. So that's the setup for this one. And then on the 27th, Lore of the Wilds by Annalise Brana is out. And that's what I said for the rest of this. She is in a forested prison. I don't know if that means like prison prison. I don't know if that means that like her village is just in this forest and they literally can't escape because of the magic of the forest or something. But her village is threatened and there's this magical library that no fae can enter. But because she's a human, they're thinking that maybe she could be the one to get in there. So she's willing to risk it for her village and she is going to have help from two fae males and they're both very intriguing in their own ways. And you have a love triangle. I believe this is a duology is what I've heard. But it's Black Fae and I want that. <laughs> I want 
fancy romance. So that's it. That's all the books that I have that I know are releasing and that I'm interested in picking up at some point in time in February. Uh, let me know any that I missed, any that you're really excited for, and you know, we're done here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.